Okay, day six, here we go. Hi everyone, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Okay, so yesterday was day five on Cinnamon Island. And yeah, Tom Nook asked us to start focusing on getting more new villagers and new friends on the island. So yes, we have started the three empty plots quest yesterday also the shop opened which is awesome and yeah we got our first reactions and i also did a bit of diving finally as you can see i have the matching wetsuit and socks amazing so yeah yesterday i started one of the best early game quests which is placing down some empty plots for new villagers and yeah i was crafting some stuff and placing them down here i totally forgot that you need kind of a lot of space for these first three plots so yeah one of them is kind of randomly <gasps> one of them is already sold Oh my god, no way. I didn't know they could be sold already. <gasps> okay, so I think this is the only plot that I've like turned in all the items. But these two over here are still kind of like work in progress. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The drama. The first plot has already been sold. The first plot has been already auto-filled. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what to do oh my god okay so yeah my plan to begin with was to auto fill these first three plots because yeah i've done that accidentally in the past but i also think it's kind of fun and because these three villagers will anyways be kind of stuck in these like ugly interior design houses so yeah i anyways i wanted to auto fill these three plots but yeah, one of them is already sold, which is kind of a surprise. I thought they will be only out of field after I talk to Tom Nook, but I guess that's not a thing. So I have like one more item to turn in for each of these. So let's do that right now. So yeah, I kind of wanted to save this for day six. But yeah, oh my goodness, I'm shocked. How is that plot already like sold? That's insane. Oh, I'm so nervous. Who is it going to be? Also, I'm quite surprised that Isabel is not on the island yet. I wonder when she's gonna join the gang. Anyways, let me get this like ugly wetsuit <laughs> off. Not that our outfit is any better, but yeah, as you can see, we also have kind of a new outfit. <laughs> We're still working on it, okay? Let's quickly check what is going on in Nook's cranny and then go and talk to Tom Nook. Yeah, the first day when the shop was open, there wasn't really anything special here. Ooh, but this is like my favorite variation of the floating planter. Yes, gimme, gimme, gimme. And it is only the most cutest thing ever that everyone is wearing the Halloween outfits right now. I am really, really curious to see if we can actually have any kind of Halloween event around the island because yeah, we don't even have a proper resident plaza, so I'm not sure if we can have a proper event, but we'll see tomorrow, I guess. And obviously Maple is here for the first time. Let's actually see if she has like a better outfit for us. Please help us out here. <gasps> oh. Well, I mean, this could potentially be a cute outfit. Maybe? Oh, she only has these shoes, but the red shoes are kind of, kind of a statement. Okay. Wow. <laughs> This is like uh, turning into some farm core outfit. Anyways, it is what it is for now. Okay, what is up Tom Nook? We have completed all the plots now. Everything is done. The rest is up to me. We can welcome our new island residents. Oh my goodness. If you're curious, check the signs. Okay, I think what we're gonna do. Oh, what is this? Oh, yay, we got fencing. I'm so nervous. Let's go and see. Okay, they're all sold. So to my usual fashion, I would love to wait like each day to see who is gonna be auto-filling to the plot. 
But because I don't think I have the time to wait, because I don't want to time travel, I think we're gonna check the signs and see who is moving in. Oh, the drama. Like, what if we get really good villagers? But to be honest, my luck is not the best, so like the hopes are not very high. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's not gonna be anyone good. Place your bets in the comments down below. Okay, let's check this out. Plot number one. Who do you think it's going to be? Are we gonna get Raymond or like, I swear to God, if it's Patty again or something. Okay, let's check. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh no, I think I've got Chester before. <gasps> okay, honestly, I need to do a bit of a googling. Why do I think I've had Chester before as like a fill-in villager or something? <gasps> do I remember that correct? Oh my goodness. Okay, he, he kind of... I don't know. What do you guys think of him? He's a little bit creepy, so I guess it suits the Halloween. <laughs> But yeah, um, he's definitely not the vibe. Oh, that's not a good start. Okay, plot number two. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do this. Who is gonna be plot number two? Oh no. Oh, this is not going well, is it? Oh, why did I auto fill these plots? Why? Oh, I never have good luck with these. Okay, I know like some people really like Pinky, but yeah, definitely not for me. Oi. This is a disaster. Okay. Last plot. Like, why do I never have good luck with these things? Like, never. Ever. <laughs> okay, so hopes are not high for the last plot. Oi. Yeah, so we have a lot of villagers to kick out. Okay, let's see. Plot number three. Will it redeem itself? Oh, no. Oh, this is not promising. Like, I can already imagine our first smog villager. Okay, last plot. Okay, thank God. Savannah, like, she's, she's cute. She's kind of cute. Not my favorite. I think her eye design is maybe a little bit too icy, but okay, she's not the worst. Okay, normal villagers usually not the worst anyways, but really Chester and Pinky. Okay. I should have known, like when we went to our first mystery island, it was not very promising, so. Okay, so yeah. Those are our three autofill villagers. I have nothing to say. Yeah, they are definitely not the vibe for this island. Absolutely not. <laughs> Let me comfort myself with this money tree right here. Uh, so yeah, they are definitely not here to stay. Savannah is okay, but Pinky, I know Pinky has her fan base, but not for me and Chester. Chester is like a pretty good Halloween villager, but definitely not the kind of villager lineup I have in mind for this island. So yeah, okay. Lesson learned. Do not autofill your plots unless if you're willing to take some really weird villagers to your island. Okay, yeah. Mistakes were definitely made. But anyways, like I'm not too mad. I'm not too mad because yeah, these villagers are definitely on the kick out list, first things first. And yeah, at least we didn't waste any good villagers with the terrible starter houses. So yeah, it's okay. It's kind of okay. Okay, nothing on Tom Nook's part either. Oh, okay. Kind of a disaster start, but hey, nothing new here. Like, looking back right now, I think on our previous island, we had actually better luck. Because we got, like, kind of two okay villagers. I don't remember who was the third one, actually. But anyways, 
so those are our autofill um friends what do you guys think of them is one of them maybe your unexpected dreamy villager let me know in the comments and yeah i'm gonna continue catching some bugs and fish i'm kind of curious to see if there is gonna be some sort of halloween celebration tomorrow and yeah i think chester is gonna be the first one to move in i suppose i'm not sure if it goes in order though but yeah, I mean, he's the perfect Halloween villager. He's really creepy. So let's see. I'm really curious if Jack is gonna be around the island tomorrow or what's going on. Because I know like some events don't really take place before you get your resident plaza upgraded. So yeah, I still have a lot of bugs and fish to catch for the month of October. And I literally have two days left. So let's see if I can manage that but yeah i'm really slowly working on this island and yeah we have some new villagers joining in for the next episode i don't really know how i feel about these villagers but anyways they are already in the kick out queue now <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you think of these three new friends. And let me know if you have had any good luck with your three first villagers. Did you go villager hunting or did you let those plots out of I I kind of find it kind of curious to out of these first plots because, yeah, as I said, it doesn't really matter that much. You can kick them out later and at least you didn't waste a nice villager in these like awful starter houses. But yeah, I think that's our short and sweet day five and six episode. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Oh yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on the future Cinnamon Island drama and weird out of villagers. Okay, I'll see you next week.